Hi, welcome back to Creative Mizat. Many of you have requested for GST returns filing. Here is the video. This is my GST returns. As I have not made any sales last month and I registered only last month, uh, I'm filing for the nil returns. I'm using the resources from the GST website to take you through. Stay till the end to see my profile and how I did it too. So let's get started. So once you register for GST online and log in for the first time, both of the videos I have put it in my channel. Please do check that out. In my dashboard for September 2023, these two things that is GST R1 uh, and GST R 3B, these two have to be filed. So there is a cutoff time for every month because I have chosen for monthly returns uh, there is a cutoff time please do keep that in mind uh, track that and file beforehand so let's get started type gst.gov.in uh, you will get into their portal on the right side top corner you will see the login option if you click that you will enter into the login page now if you're first time user please to check out the video how to log in for the first time you have to populate your credentials with the email that you have already received so once you have populated your credentials you can log in to reach your dashboard so to take you through the filing of returns i'm using the gst website uh, they have listed down all the information that you need for filing to access that information you have to go to gst.gov.in in that help and taxpayer facility click that tab in this they have listed down many information regarding gst so today we are concerned about filing returns so in the help items click gst knowledge portal here again they have listed down many information regarding gst today we are concerned about file returns let's click that i have opted for monthly payments so click quarterly returns and monthly payments key option click filing from gst r1 manual Click filing nil form GST R1 online by normal taxpayer option. Now let's see in detail how to file nil returns for GST. So once you log into your profile through the GST portal, uh, click services in that tab returns. So in the file returns page displayed, select the financial year, quarter and the period uh, to which you, you want to file the returns from the drop down option. Then click search button. And then in the GST R1 box, click prepare online. So in this page, click file nil GST R1 option. Click generate summary. So all the boxes should be, should have a tick mark and zero. Uh, note that in 7B2C, there is check mark and one return. So probably you might get a error. What to do in case if you get an error message. So to explain that they have shown here. So notice that in the 7B2C others, some saved data is there. Uh, so delete the saved data to proceed to the nil filing. Uh, for that, click the reset button followed by the highlighted symbol. That is the refresh symbol to reset. Or click the highlighted uh, delete icon to delete the save data. Click the proceed button to confirm. Now once the already saved or auto populated records are de deleted, uh, you have to go back on top, uh, select the GST R1 checkbox, then generate a summary again. The nil file GST R1 page will be displayed. Click the file statement button to proceed. So it is mandatory to file all the previous period GST forms to proceed. If not, it will show you an error message. So now select the declaration box checkbox in the authorized signatory. In your drop down list, select the authorized signatory. Click the file with EVC button to file GST. So you will receive an OTP in your registered mobile number. Enter OTP and then verify. A success message with AR number is displayed on the screen. Once the NIR GST R1 is successfully filed, the status will change as filed. Click the download file PDF button to download the filed GST1 form in the PDF format. So we have finished filing for GST R1. Now let's file for GST 3B. Click here for the GST 3B tutorial. So go back to the returns tab returns dashboard file returns page is displayed select the financial year and return filing period and click search button as you can see gst r1 the status has changed to submitted 
below that you can see the GST R3B uh, click prepare online please answer the following question to enable us to show a relevant section in my case I have not made any sales nor I received any item so I am going for the nil return uh, so option A do you want to file nil return I want to click yes and then click next it will take you to the filing of tax page uh, click the declaration I V hereby solemnly affirm file GST 3D with EVC as usual. It will display a warning. Uh, you are about to file GST A 3B. Would you like to proceed? Click proceed. You will get the OTP in your registered phone number. Enter the OTP. So you will get a filing successful message with an ARN number. Uh, if you want to download the file a uh, download file the gst 3b button if you click you will get the downloaded pdf file and then going back to the dashboard if you refresh it two three times you can see both the gst r1 and gst r3b will be filed if it's not try to refresh two three times log off login and then so as promised i'm showing my dashboard and how i did it the services returns dashboard select the financial year quarter period and click search so as you can see when you search it uh, these are the articles that have come up so for me GST R1 and GST R3B is mentioned with a due date so keep a track of this due date and file it beforehand or else you will suffer a huge penalty so first let's do GST R1 click prepare online click file nil GST R1 checkbox then click file statement so now click the acknowledgement IB here by solemnly affirm uh, declare declaration authorized signatory then sign with EVC receive the OTP in your registered mobile number type it verify so the status will change into file now for registering GST R3B uh, go to the turns tab financial year quarter period click search as you can see uh, when you go to the returns tab and check uh, the GST R1 status shows as filed now let's do the GST R3B click prepare online do you want to file nil returns uh, you have to click yes then click next a general information tab will be shown click close and do the verification as usual click file with EVC so if you go to your dashboard returns dashboard and check uh, both the GST R1 and GST R3B will be the status will show as file so to check out how to register for GST online link will be in the description and for the second video how to log in first time link will also be in the description so if you like this content, please do like, share and subscribe. Meet you in the next video. Bye.